I'm actually really <laughs> bummed. Where I'm going has worse weather than oh, we have here this that's, weekend. That's bad. I know. Yeah. But that's hard to do because this weather, I mean, that's easy to do because this weather is going to be perfect. But I'm actually going to start by talking about fall, even though it doesn't really feel like fall outside today, just a little bit. Uh, I'm going to talk about just some of the fall foliage this week uh, where you can find some. Now, not really us. You can see on the color graph, we have little to no color for uh, New York, Long Island, down the shore. But the closer you get to Canada, uh, we have some fall foliage that's kicking in this week. The Adirondacks are going to be beautiful this weekend. Uh, parts of Maine and very far upstate New York. So uh, I don't know if you want to make some plans. That's where you can find the fall foliage. And then we'll be there in just a few weeks. Today we have clouds and sun, but we have more sun than clouds. So it's overall going to be a really nice day outside. We have temperatures climbing up today, going to be in the mid 70s and tomorrow in the mid 70s, but even a couple degrees warmer. And overall, a great weekend because Sunday cools down just a bit, but still about a high of 72, lots of sunshine. Cooler next week, though, so we'll dip back down into the 60s next week with some cooler overnight temperatures. Right now, we've crossed into the 70s. It's 71 degrees and sunny in New York. We're looking at 72 and mostly cloudy over LaGuardia, but we'll just see patches of clouds and sun uh, over the next day or so. So LaGuardia will clear up pretty soon. Atlantic City, 74 and sunny, just gorgeous. Uh, for the rest of the country, we have nice temperatures down south, 76 in Atlanta, 74 over in Albuquerque, 89 in Phoenix. So that's hot, but uh, we have another day of some pretty extreme heat for the western half of the U.S. We saw record-breaking heat for October for more than 100 places, and it was about 117 in Palm Springs yesterday. Uh, so if you think it's warmer here, you should see some of the temperatures that we have in California and Arizona today and tomorrow. Uh, looking at our satellite radar to see a check-in with the tropics, Kirk is a Category 4 storm. But as we know, that's not going to make landfall anywhere, uh, but it's just going to climb up through the Atlantic and we could see some swells along the coast of the East Coast um, by Sunday. So we have an area of high pressure in control giving us these great conditions. We do have a cold front moving through, but we're really not going to uh, feel it that much. So for the rest of the day, we're going to have just that mix of clouds and sun that I was talking about. There's a very slight chance for showers to the north of us. You can see a little blip in the Hudson Valley uh, later tonight, but for the most part, just going to be uh, clear for us. And then tomorrow is going to be even more sunshine and Sunday looking nice, too. We really don't have uh, another chance of rain for a quite a few days. We have that chance of really early Saturday rain again to the north of us, but overall looks like a great weekend. Tonight, the low is 62 degrees. We'll have some more clouds move through. And then again, that really small chance of some showers to the north of the city. Tomorrow, a high of 76 and lots of sunshine. And then we hold on to the 70s till Monday. And then we dip back down to the 60s, but still looking pretty nice. Bianca? Oh, I can certainly agree with you. That is amazing for October.